How's it going, Jason? Good. How are you? Good, man. Um, I think we they briefly talked to you the other night. Um, kind of walk us through that that block again. Uh, really wasn't too much to it, you know. Um, earlier in the game, I saw it kicked it kind of low, so I knew I'd have a shot, and you know, game on the line. Just go try to go get it. This may seem like a simple question or strange question. How do you keep finding yourself in the right place at the right time? I have no idea. Just <laughs> running to the ball, trying to get to it, you know, feeling the flow of the game. I feel like that's that's football. If you play football instead of worrying about the X's and O's and just play football, you find the ball. Coach Bandy did mention that he can see someone who has the ability to kind of anticipate things before they happen, to kind of have that vision and see things that step ahead. What do you think it is? You know, do you spend time working on that, or what do you think it is that makes you have that? Um, I don't think I try to think about it too much. Just like I said, just playing football, if you try to worry about, you know, it's like backyard, playing in the backyard. If you try to worry about if a guy does this or if a guy does this, just play football, you know, it'll bring you to it. So you're not overthinking it then, but do you, as far, what's it like for you as far as when you're studying film? What's kind of your approach to that? Um, when I'm studying film, I'm just, you know, trying to figure out the game plans, looking at tendencies, stuff like that. But is it, as it pertains to me getting to the ball, you know, that's just me just in the backyard. Right. What do you think is the biggest way you've grown since you've been here playing at OSU? Um, really just being more technical. I feel like I came up here and I was just raw, you know. I feel like I was a great athlete, but I was just raw. Then maybe didn't have my feet right, or that's what I feel like I've grown the most since I've been here. What's your mindset like when you learn that Trey is out and you're stepping up into that starting role now? Um, my first mindset is uh, that's a tough loss for us. We, we really like Trey, and he's been a great player for years. So that was my first thought process. But after that, I have to clear my mind and just go play. I have to be the next man up. I saw him still tweeting at you all and everything. What's his support been like since he's been out? Bro, it's been great. There's been, it's been games before where he, he wasn't there, so it's the same. It's just like he's there, you know. He's a very active guy on Twitter, so. What do you remember about that, that K-State fumble return last year? Um, like that, that play really wasn't, you know, too much thought into that either. I, I remember the whole play, but, you know, it's, it's a whole new year this year, so. Not really thinking about it too much. What did you think of Colby's interception? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, me and him were just talking about getting to the ball right before that. We felt like it was just itching, you know. They were trying to give us something, and he got him one. I'm really going to ask, what, is he just going to guard you today? Yeah, that's my dog, my roommate, <laughs> you know. <laughs> How would you rate Colby's uh, latest uh, mixtape? Amazing. Creative. <laughs> <laughs> Got him to smile back there, finally. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, way back in high school, you were making plays, too. Was this something that you just figured out early to kind of figure out how to go and make plays like this, or was it just something natural or what? Yeah, I feel like since I played football, that's just how it's been, you know. I try to just play, you know. It's a, it's a game. You got to remember, it's a game. You know, don't get too caught up in and things outside of it. You got to remember, even though it's college level and it's big time football, it's it's a game. Go out there and have fun. Jason, what was the biggest or clutchest play you made in your high school career? Uh, probably my junior year. Um, State championship, last play of the game, or last couple plays of the game, they took a shot at the end zone, Bishop McGinnis, and just knocked the ball away. That was probably the biggest one, the Silla State Championship, for my first one. You made a play like that on defense, the one on special teams yesterday, and then you scored a touchdown. I mean, is this something you've been, I mean, what was your biggest, most clutch play in middle school? We can keep going here. Like, like you know, has this something that you've been doing your whole career, your whole life? Uh, I feel like so. I mean, but like I said, I, I, I really don't think too much about it. I just try to go out there and play football, have fun, and whatever happens, happens. 
Were you yeah. a little disappointed the pick six didn't count against Tulsa? Uh, right off the bat, I wasn't. <laughs> I was like, you know, whatever. Just, just keep rolling. I was a little tired after running. <laughs> Had to jump right back on and keep playing. But, I'm, you know, that's part of the game, you know. Things happen for a reason, and I bet if, if I catch that one, I don't get the block versus Boise, so. Maybe step into a larger role, just, just maintaining that focus if it's just a game, it's you know, different, does that become more important? Yeah, I feel like now it's even more important that, that that's what it is, you know. I know it's a starting role, but don't let that change how you've been, how I've been this whole time, so. Is, is there anything in your prep that you did differently? Just go at it like any other game. Just prepare the right way, and you'll feel comfortable. So, how did you guys, as a defense, kind of handle the the Brock Martin call? They called the I don't know what they called it exactly, but how did you guys kind of like mentally reset? Um, and then obviously you get the stop of the block. Um, right when the the flag was thrown, I was confused. I didn't know what it was, but my dog, he, we all grouped together. Me, him, and Tanner grouped together and said, "It's time." Let's go. They threw a flag. Let's go. It's time to go make plays. Try to win the game. How big of an influence has the person behind you been? Uh, a huge influence. You know, since uh, since high school, we we talked in high school, and from then it's been like a brother. I feel like this is my brother beyond this game now. So everything we do is together. This game is just where we are now. You say you try not to think too much about making big plays, but now that you're a starter, do you try to make it a competition with Colby to see who can make the make more plays or more tackles or whatever? Uh, I don't think about it as a competition at the time, but it's most definitely a competition. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned it being the same, like you know, channeling that mindset, thinking about how it's the same game you grew up playing in your backyard. What do you remember about just playing football for fun before it really was that competitive? Yeah, it, you know, when you play football, it's 27 on one. You know, we all out here in the middle of a field and throwing the ball around. That's all it is. It's, that's all it is. You just play football. You mentioned the influence of Colby. What was it like for you when he's made that decision to, to return on the very last day instead of going pro? Um, I kind of knew beforehand. He had called and told me, so we was just holding off. But for me, I just wanted what was best for him. And so that's what he chose, and I was like, let's rock. That's what it is. What was it like when he told you that he was going to come into media with you? <laughs> no, I was going <laughs> to... It wasn't nothing. I was like, come on. As soon as he's down, I was like, let's go. Jason, I know it's a disappointment to lose Trey, but I'm, I'm sure this position that you're in now is something you've been hoping for for a good while. What does it feel like to, to have that left side starting role? Yeah, like I said, you know, it feels it feels good to 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 start, but in the way it happened, it's, it's part of the game, you know. People get hurt. I know we're going to miss Trey however long he's out. So I just try to step up and become the starter and make plays. Anything else for Jason? How much did you see of, of Caleb having this in practice and whatnot? And how, how impressed with, were you with uh, with how he finished that game for you guys Saturday? You know, that's a fellow Oklahoman, you know. <laughs> we, we we talk every day and he's, he's one of those players who got them stickies. He can catch anything. He's always been like that.